Hey guys, Jeremiah Craig here, and today I am pretty much trying on my dream boot right now. I've been wanting to try elephant skin for the longest time. So today we are reviewing the Tony Llama elephant skin. This is model 6060. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. Let's get into it. I made it over to Beth West, Western store in Snohomish, Washington. And while I perused the aisles, I came across a beautiful elephant skin boot made by Tony Lama. Now, Lance, the owner of Beth West, helped me out with this boot, and I was so excited to try the elephant hide for the first time. We've been in the business here about 41 years, I say here, uh, 15 here. Prior to that, Grand Coulee Dam, Electric City, uh, had several stores, Both River Highway, had their one there 25 years. So what we're uh, doing now, we've done for quite a few years is, uh, had boots made uh, in up to size like 17 in the, this particular Nakona and down as small as like size three, three and a half. So that way nobody's left out as far as uh, size goes. So we can fit everybody 4E, 4A, real narrow, real wide, whatever. This is our newest little uh, deal. This is Toy Lama Signature Edition, which is the top of their line, all hand tooled. Then, you know, this is quite expensive to have this uh, all hand tooled on the, on the top, as you can see here. It's great, it's a beautiful boot. You are cool with me trying these uh, Tony Lama elephants? Yeah, that's a Tony Lama elephant. I knew that uh, <clears throat> at the time here a couple years ago that uh, there would be no more elephant uh, being imported. We used to stock a lot of elephants, so what we did is just replenish their sizes, and what you have is what you have. You're not going to be buying any more from Tony Lama because you don't, uh, in Washington State, you don't bring shark or uh, Elephant into the yeah. states, and this is this is uh, uh, grandfathered in. Has the uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, uh, numbers on it. Don't have very many, but when they're gone, they're gone. So right, very now, durable leather. Can you tell me uh, about this boot, like how it's made? Okay, this particular one is uh, built like uh, not their the signature is like their their Lamborghini of the deal. This would be their Cadillacs and Lincoln. It would be is a, a black type of uh, construction with no piping as you notice here and, yeah. and, a, and a hung lining. There's no stitches inside, it's all hung so there's no stitches to touch your legs. So uh, it's just one of their uh, better made boots in El Paso, Texas. You got both lemon, lemon wood pegs and brass. You've got it right there, that's a good eye. You've got a good eye on that. That's well, the, she told me earlier. That's, that's, the, that's the way it's uh, done. It's totally hand, <clears throat> hand lasted. Uh, this is, they might use a computer stitch for the top here but it's all hand lasted, meaning they have a wooden foot, and each component, the welt and the insole, everything is all different components. And they put this wooden foot and stretch this leather over the, uh, the last, the wooden foot, the last, and then they hand peg it. Uh, I've, uh, I got to do some of that uh, four or five years ago, peg some boots in El Paso, Texas with lemon wood. Wow. Yeah. And what, what should I know about elephant hide before trying it on. A good fit's a good fit. The wide part of the knuckles uh, comes right here in the in the on in the foot. So the wide part of the knuckles at the wide part of the boot. Right. Nice and snug right through here. Right. It'll slip a, a bit in the heel from the because there's steel from here to here and the leather as we did in North Suns, we bend the shoes, but we don't bend boots. We uh, we actually set and fit everybody. Uh, very, there's a few people that still do that in the world. Very few. Wow. Again his life time dream was to try, uh, to try on a pair of uh, elephant hides and so this is the opportunity that yeah. uh, you'll have you might uh, want to do that I've never tried elephant boots before and I'm super excited mm -hmm. for this yeah, and this is a, a better boot like this is uh, tuck, it's tucked in you see it has a place for your Achilles and stuff it looks more like a human foot with a little bone for your mat bone whatever this is called this fancy name and it, so it should be tight, tight, tight going on, and then once you break through, it should feel real comfortable. All right, well, let's try it on then. Wow. There. Wow. Now then, just for Jeez. just for just for the heck of it, right here, we'll do it like the old school when you put it on, and then you put your foot down, and then stand up on it. See, because you pull and pull and press on it. 
Okay. Yeah, they stand up a little bit. There you go. See, there. That's really the. Uh, if there's a, if there's the right way to put a boot on, that's the right way to do it. All right. That way you're putting push and pulling. The elephant's hide is like a sliver. It's exquisite. Yeah, it is. It's this so, is amazing. So that, that's particularly uh, tan. Tony Lama being who they are, that's their black label. The, the leather is tanned with a lot of uh, oils, conditioners to uh, uh, hydrate the leather to make it more durable and also real, real, real comfortable. Wow. Looks nice on the foot too when you put your uh, pant down too. It feels tough, but it's also super soft at the same time. Yep, yep. I've, you I've read things where people are, are like, you only know the feeling of elephant when you try it mm -hmm. and it's completely true elephant only feels like that this is crazy yeah. as you saw here at beth west lance gave me the lowdown on these elephant boots and man are they amazing wow i've never tried anything like this it's basically a slipper it's the toughest slipper i've ever had it's so soft but you can tell it's so tough at the same time Wow, I've never tried a hide or leather like elephant before. And now I really want a pair, but unfortunately it's kind of on the expensive side. These Tony Llamas are going for $500, which is not bad for elephant skin from what I've seen, but wow, just a beautiful boot. What do you got here? Is this another elephant? Yeah, but that's the boardy one. Now he was talking Whoa. about how soft that is. That's this is right. so much more tough. Right, regular elephant, and uh, durability-wise, they're probably the same. That's very supple. That's been the the black label. This is the red, this is the handmade Tony. Okay. And then this is black. It was called the black label. Okay. Uh, they used this and tumbled the leather with oil to make it more soft, and then of course you have more durability. It's the same thickness in the wall. Okay. But it's uh, been it's been tumbled in in their upper. Uh, into a better, a little more expensive leather. And this one hasn't been tumbled? It hasn't been tumbled. It's, okay. It's been aniline dyed, meaning it has tumbled in, a, in dye, so it's dyed black all the way through. Is that what makes it feel a little bit more waxy than this? Yeah, a little bit of waxy, yeah. Okay. This has got more, this has got more oil, and this is more of the, you know, the, normally what, that's how normal elephant feels like. This is exception to the rule, that one being, say an elephant's so soft and cushy, only that one. Only this one's yeah. soft and cushy. All right. All right. So if you didn't hear that, Lance gave me the lowdown. He says, this has been tumbled and that's why this elephant is so soft and cushy. Now he gives me this other elephant booth and you can tell it's just so much more tough and a lot, a lot more, uh, it's got a lot more texture. It's a little bit more waxy too. Uh, but this one is super soft. It feels Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just it's just so soft and tough feeling. It kind of feels like the finest sandpaper that you've ever felt, except way tougher. And this one, this one is very coarse. Uh, so it's very interesting to sample two different kinds of elephant leathers here. Uh, this Tony Lama Model 6060 though is amazing this one this one's not my size so i can't i can't feel how this fits but um i've never tried it before this tumbled elephant leather is why it's so smooth and why it's so cushy and soft wow wow amazing boot guys amazing boot this is tony llama's model 6060 elephant Whew. I'm so happy I got to try this today. Amazing, amazing. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. You heard everything that you needed to from Lance himself in that previous segment there. So, oh, geez, I'm just gonna take some B-roll now and just call it a day, guys. I am speechless about this boot. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think of elephant boots in the comments. Peace, everybody. I'll see you next time. I'll never forget the elephant. No matter where I roam, and if I was only intelligent, I would have brought that elephant home. <laughs>
See you guys next time.